Akron, Alabama, August 1992. During the early 90s, there have been various reports of people seeing a mysterious thin man who always appeared at a distance and disappeared when anyone approached him. Not many took these reports seriously until the following story came out in one of the local newspapers. Was this strange creature more dangerous than what people had thought? Crystal finished tying her jogging shoes, then unlocked the front door to her parents' home. Ready for her morning run, just as she was about to leave, she heard her mother's voice calling her from the kitchen. What's up, Mum? She called, her hand still dancing on the doorknob. She really didn't want to get caught up before her workout. Crystal, where are you jogging? I'm just going down the road, Mum, Crystal responded. She knew exactly what was coming. Her mum worried about her, and whenever she visited her parents' home in the countryside, she expressed her worries by Crystal being attacked by a wild animal, a strange man, or even just getting lost. Well, sweetie, I've heard that there have been a few problems with strange men she said as she started on the all too familiar speech. Oh, come on, Mum, Crystal said, her voice giving away her aspiration. I don't think anyone is out there. It's 7 a.m. It's Saturday. No one is going to bother me. Well, okay, her mother responded, looking down at her hands. I just worry, you know. I know, Mom. Crystal walked over and gave her mother a quick kiss on the cheek. I'll be back in a bit. Thanks for always looking out for me. Crystal closed the door behind her and bounded down the stairs. She began jogging as soon as her shoes hit the gravel of her parents' rural driveway. The air was crisp on this summer morning, and the birds were already singing cheerful songs. Crystal smiled. Running always helped her sort out her thoughts and prepare for the day ahead. In her mind, she went through her plans to see friends, go shopping, and meet her parents for dinner later that evening. She neared the end of the gravel road that led to her mother's home and had to make a new choice in her route. The option to the left was a road that went down by a creek. It was peaceful, but the bugs could be bad. The right was a route she'd never taken, but it was also the road her mum always told her to avoid. It looked pretty, and Crystal felt like trying something new. She took off, eager to view fresh scenery. After a few minutes of enjoying the canopy of trees and pleasant breeze, Crystal began to feel like she was being watched. It wasn't an intense feeling, but it was an uneasy one nonetheless. She immediately tried to shake the doubt from her mind, trying to convince herself that she was only feeling the uncertainty due to her choice to take a new route. Within a few moments, she felt the familiar positivity return, and she continued dignitantly on her course. Sometime later, Crystal stopped near a large tree on the side of the road to rest. She took a drink from her water bottle, wiped the sweat from her brow, and took a moment to enjoy the nature surrounding her. But as soon as she had taken note of her location, she felt the strange feeling of being watched creep up again. Why was she experiencing this sensation? She took another drink and closed up the bottle. Perhaps she should keep moving. The young woman resumed her jog, feeling pressured by her fear to run a little faster this time. But within moments, she began to hear strange noises coming from within the trees. Branches breaking, leaves rustling, and scraping sounds all tugged at the fear looming in her psyche. 
Something was following her, watching her. She was sure of it. Again, she picked up her pace, convinced that she could outrun whatever was lurking in the thick cover of the foliage. But then, she saw a strange shape on the road in front of her. Currently, it was about a half a mile away from her. After a moment, she could make out the distinct shape of a man. At first, she felt relief. She wasn't crazy, but that was quickly followed by dread. He appeared to be wearing a suit, and he was dressed completely in black. Who was that? Who would be walking on the road at 7 or 7.30 in the morning, dressed in a suit? Crystal stopped jogging and watched the figure for a moment. When she looked closer, he was even more unbelievable. His legs didn't appear to be moving, but he was. He actually appeared to be floating several inches above the road, but he was most certainly gliding in her direction. Too frightened to wait around and meet the mysterious figure face to face. Crystal turned on her heels and began jogging away from him. She figured he wasn't gliding quickly and she didn't want to burn herself out running at full speed. By her calculations, in only four minutes, she could be back to the main intersection and out of heavy tree coverage once again. By then, she should be in the clear. But Crystal's confidence didn't last for long. She still felt that someone's eyes were upon her, that this shadowy slender figure was still following her. She turned to look behind her and noticed that the man was not only following her, but he was gaining ground on her with every passing second. What was this? What was happening to her? The young woman thought back to the warning her mother had given her. Was she actually right? Were there really strange men in the area, seeking to harm innocent joggers such as herself? Crystal focused all her energy on getting to her destination, far away from the bizarre gentleman in the woods. You can do it. You can do this every day. Push. Push yourself harder. It's only a few minutes away. Push. But even as she said this, she began to realise that no matter how fast she moved, she would not be able to outrun her pursuant. She had pushed herself until her lungs felt as if they would burst. But there he was, only 50 paces behind her. Desperate, the young woman began screaming for him to back off. Go away! What do you want? Who are you? None of her questions or demands were answered or heeded. But then she saw a glimmer of hope. An SUV was approaching from about a mile down the road. Frantically, Crystal waved her arms and screamed, hoping that the occupants of the vehicle would see her. She looked behind her. The figure was now only 40 paces away. She could presently see that her initial thoughts were correct. This was no ordinary man. Aside from his unearthly method of travelling and bizarre get-up, he had no discernible facial features, where one would normally have eyes, nose and a mouth. He had nothing. It was as if someone had simply wiped his face clean of anything that would humanise him. His form seemed to shift, like he was composed of hot air that dances above a fire, seemingly shifting in and out of the earthly plane. Help! Crystal screamed again, turning back to the approaching vehicle and unsure of how much longer she could force herself to keep running. With every step forward, her lungs swelled and stung, and her sides had begun to cramp with the signs of overexertion and dehydration. But she didn't dare stop. She was so close. 
Suddenly, she felt an overwhelming pain shoot through her entire back. It was so sharp and so intense that her joints locked up. She fell to the ground, unable to move anymore. Sounds seemed to be amplified. The approaching vehicle's motor roared menacingly. Her heartbeat pounded and throbbed in her ears. And the sound of a single bead of sweat dripping onto the gravel sounded like someone dumped a bucket of water in front of her. Crystal grimaced, trying to bring herself to her knees at the very least, but to no avail. She looked helplessly behind her as the slender figure closed in on her. With every second that passed, her world felt increasingly smaller. A crushing sense of fear and panic took hold of her mind. The faceless ghoul was mere moments from overtaking her. Hey miss, are you alright? Crystal looked up at an elderly woman staring down at her. She had a little Pomeranian on a bright red lace running back and forth at her feet. What, what happened to the man? The man following me. The woman looked around her and back at Crystal. Sweetie, you were just running like a mad woman down the road. I didn't see a man. Come on now, sit up. You look like you've seen a ghost. Crystal accepted the woman's help gladly, but she couldn't help but wonder who was the slender man. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment below. All feedback, good or otherwise, is always appreciated. If you have any creepy stories of your own, or have any topics that you would like me to cover, feel free to send them in via any of my social media. You can find all links to my social media in the description below. Until next time guys, make sure you lock your doors, stay safe, and I'll see you next video.